Hi there, folks. I'm going to take a break from moving wood. Not that uh, tired after one load of wood, but I'd like to be able to do several more today. And I find uh, that taking a break in between each load is uh, better for longevity's sake. And that actually is a great to or a great segue to the topic here. Great uh, conversation starter. <clears throat> Social norms. Should you conform to them? Do they even exist today? A lot of these questions are going to be open-ended because I don't want to tell you guys what to think, what to do. I want to tell you guys what I think and what I do because what happens a lot of time for me personally is that I will listen to somebody talk, a podcast, a uh, video or whatever, and they will discuss some of these things. And I go, huh, that really makes a lot of sense. So for me, it's kind of difficult. I've never followed the social norm, right? <clears throat> I'm in my mid-20s, saving up a bunch of money, putting it in investments. A lot of the people I know can't even spell investments in their mid-20s. So, you know, I'm already ahead in that curve. I'm already saving money for retirement. Again, a lot of folks my age don't even spell retirement correctly. So it's one of those things, like if I don't follow the social norms there, why should I follow the social norms with farming? And I definitely don't do that. No one in my area is doing regenerative agriculture, at least to my knowledge. I got a guy, I think the closest folks in my area are probably 15, 20 minutes away from me. So several miles, you know, 10, 15 miles. Um, so if those are the folks that are doing it, it's like I'm abnormal. I'm not following the social norm. Uh, I know I definitely don't follow the social norm if you ask any of my neighbors, uh, including my neighbor farmer down the road because I don't put fertilizer on my fields. I don't want fertilizer on my fields. I look at it as, at it as a money thing. And I, I won't go into depth with that because I know I've probably beaten the dead horse with that one. But it's a money thing for me. If I have to buy hay, you know, I rather spend $700 on hay where I can add nutrients and add fertilizer to my own pasture, to my own field where I want to add it, instead of putting it into some hay field that may not actually net the $700 back. Now, a lot of folks might say, well, it changes the protein or the forage or the fiber, I mean, uh, stuff like that. I don't have those issues because my cows are Irish Dexters and they will eat shrubs and still look really fat and happy. So there's things like that. And actually, that's another one. I don't have Angus or Herefords. I have Irish Dexters. I have little cows. But the reason I have little cows is I can have more per acre than if I had a big Angus. I get better quality meat higher fat content, higher protein content, just better meat all around off of just grass. E extremely great marbling. All the butcher shops I've taken my stuff to comment on how good my marbling is. Now they don't because they've seen my animals, but the first time I took an animal to everything, they were confusing them with little Anguses or little Herefords saying, how'd you get so much marbling out of a little Angus that young? You know, then I have to explain everything like that. So again, why follow social norms? That, that's what I don't understand is, is all of these folks want you to fit in this little teeny tiny box. If you're not in that box, they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to deal with you. You know, I, I get some uh, flack sometimes for the way I uh, approach people, the way I deal with people. I rather you be honest with me. I, I don't say it to folks because it upsets them and it offends them, but I truly and honestly believe that if we were honest with everybody, the world would not be the way it is. It would be a million times better. You know, for example, if, uh, which I have been honest in this, so I can say this. The neighbor said, you know, I need to fertilize the field. And I told him, I said, if I'm spending $700, I'd rather buy hay from you than buy fertilizer from some company because even if it's still spending the same amount of money and I'm getting the same amount of round bales either way, I rather give him the money because I want him to stay in business and doing his thing versus some Joe Schmo massive corporation that owns five or six fertilizer plants and, and does that, you know? So there's things like that. Like if we just are honest with each other, you know, I don't care that folks don't think the way that I do. I don't care that folks think I'm different. I am different. We're going to go to a single income household. You know, we're doing the numbers. We're crunching the numbers. I'm a little nervous about it. I ain't going to lie. But we're going to go to a single income. Who's doing that these days with student loans, with a home mortgage, with all that stuff? So again, I challenge you. Why does it matter that I follow the social norm? Nobody does these days. And in fact, I actually think that you shouldn't follow the social norm. Look at these millionaires. 
You think these millionaires are going home playing video games for 12 hours and smoking weed? Okay, well, maybe some of them. Snoop Dogg, I know, smokes uh, quite a large amount of marijuana. But <clears throat> that's it. Like, these people are not following the social norms. You see these business owners that are not following the social norms. A social norm, in my opinion, is 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. You know, every business owner I know works 5 to 9, Monday through Sunday. <laughs> You know, so it's like, again, you're not following the social norm. So why should I fit into the social norm? And besides, everyone's different, right? I'm not saying that you can't go out and fertilize your fields. I'm not saying that you can't have your own opinions and your own experiences, but mine are different. I'm a mid twenties guy. Mine are already different than my dad's and my granddad's than even the guys I grew up with. You know, the guys I grew up with, my life is different than theirs. You know, I'm already financially more responsible than a lot of the folks that I deal with, you know? Why follow the social norm? Does it even matter? And who cares? Isn't your happiness the only thing that matters? Isn't your goals the only thing that matters? And I'll end you with this. Why does your neighbor's opinion matter? Are they going to pay your bills? Why does your friend's opinion matter? Are they going to pay your bills? Your coworker, your boss, your whoever. If you're the one paying your bills and you've got it figured out how you want to pay your bills... So what? So what if it's single income? So what if it's a million dollar income? Does it matter? I don't think so. I say forget the social norm because if we all followed the social norm, we'd all identify as tractors. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.